now we start some kind of uh, slow riding very slow speed in the first gear get a stop and then the bike will try to fall then give again power to the machine friction zone the bike will start standing and moving forward that is called slow speed very dead speed slowest speed possible almost dead speed okay second is making u turn u turn also needs a lot of control of the throttle and the clutch and sometimes braking also rear brake and then some circling as you see a lot of circle marks in there and then moving your bike in the form of figure eight the both wheels will make figure eight going there here you have to use all these skills and once you master that forget about the historical experience of your dropping the bike several times scratching it being embarrassed humiliating yourself and sometimes weeping and heart is bleeding because such costly adventure bikes you have spent so much of money and you are not knowing how to drive you drop it it's shame but one thing is there in the beginning it will happen all the best drivers have dropped the bike several times by experience only you can gain but the most powerful experience is friction zone technique throttling giving power to the rear wheel and when the speed is more apply rear brake avoid using front brake this is only when at high speed this is the most efficient brake rear brake is just something 10 20% of the total braking power of the machine so dear friends the adventure rider riding the baby vstorm of course i mean my garage 800d 1050 all vstorms and 650 vstorms i'm fan of suzuki long live suzuki it has given us so us many wonderful experience and i'm used to it so i go for series of the higher siblings starting with the lower one next some kind of motion some kind of illustration what i have told you in this video thank you viewers